So now let us look at object types and fields. In the previous videos, we created a few types. For example, person type in which we defined what data it expects inside the person type. We have all these fields, which are a type of string, and this one ID, which is a type of an ID. So the core of GraphQL is based on types. If you have ever worked with types before, this should be easy for you to understand. So in this example, person is a GraphQL type, and everything inside the person is called a field. So if we add an exclamation mark here, it means this field cannot be null. So we can make things more interesting a bit by changing the email field to an array. So if this person has multiple email addresses will be able to accept that so let's do that so first of all I'm gonna change this to emails and this will be an array which accepts a type of email so now we need to create the email type I'm gonna do it up here I'll do type email and I'll have an email inside which will be a string okay I'm gonna save this so now that we've changed this we need to also change our resolver inside our index.js so this is now emails and this is now an array I have an email here. I'm going to add another item in the array. Use another email to be like test at gmail.com. And I save this. I'll do npm start. Refresh this page. And if I check my docs inside person, I can see that I have emails which accepts another type of email. And this is an array with email inside it, which is a string. So if I come back here, and I'm gonna add emails to my query and run this. I'll get a list of the emails which are inside the email type. So now let's get back to our code. So we have already looked at a query tab called person. Running the query retained a person. So now let's look at another type called mutation. So mutations, as the name suggests, are used in GraphQL to change or create data. So inside our code editor, let's reset this back to the way it was so we can keep things simple. So I'm going to remove the email and I'm going to put this back to string. This is going to be email. I'm going to do the same here. Remove all this. And I'm going to have one email address in here. This will be email. Okay. So now let's open our schema.js. So now we want to create a type called mutation, which uses a resolver called create a person. The resolver will take an input called person input. And return a person so let's create that type i'm going to create a type here and call it mutation with the resolver code create a person so the resolver will take in an input of type person input which i'm going to create just now and it will return a person so what is an input type input types are basically used as query parameters in graphql so now let's create that input type when you're creating an input type instead of using this uh, word type we prefix it with something called input so it's going to be input person input and it's going to have exactly the same thing as the person and if we put an exclamation mark like this it means this cannot be now now we go back to our index.js so what we want to do now is to use the resolver we just created. So because we don't have a database yet, I'm going to uh, create a class so that we can store our data in memory. So let's do that. So above here, I'm going to create a class and I'm going to call it person. In this class, we have a constructor which will take the ID, which is going to be a random string. We're going to have a first name, last name, gender, and the email address. And then we have this dot id is equal to id this dot first name is equal to first name this last name is equal to last name this dot gender is equal to gender and finally we have our email address so when we supply this to a class it will create a person now let's create an object for our database called person database person i'm gonna do const person db which will be an empty object and right here down here i'm gonna have the resolver which we defined in the schema so i'm gonna add my resolver here just gonna copy the name create a person and it will take in the input 
so and here I'm gonna create an ID and create a random number I'm gonna import crypto from crypto which I used to create a random number here a random string sorry I'm gonna be crypto dot random bytes 10 to string the pass x and we set the position of the ID in the database ID is equal to input okay and then we return our person that's in the ID and the input that's it our code looks like this now so now we can go back to our GraphQL and refresh this uh, I need to run the server first make sure there's no problem when I do npm start okay that works so if I come here and refresh this and if I check my docs I can see right here under root types I have a mutation which is called create a person which takes in an input and returns a person and the input looks like this so now I can come here and remove all this and create a mutation with autocomplete I can see I can create a person which takes in an input like this and I can put in my first name or put in John and I can have a last name call it Do and an email address I'm just gonna write test at test.com okay and finally with mutations you have to return something here and I'm gonna return the ID and I'll also return the last name so let's run this and see what happens okay so now we just created a new person in our database and now as you can see it is resolved and returned us the person object with the ID we have generated and the last name 